Hi, my name is Mark Bro. I've um, been working in men's tailored clothing for about 25 years now, uh, and I'm here to demonstrate the proper way to uh, tie a necktie uh, and uh, get the dimple put in it correctly in the proper length. Um, you take, you start out with the tie, large, uh, the long, the wide side of the tie, over one side. Uh, the knot I'm going to demonstrate here is the full Windsor. Uh, it ties a broader. Um, even knot, not angled like the uh, foreign hand. But anyway, first thing off, you cross over the top, and then you want to look at this, that you're, you're going to wrap this side, this length of the tie, around both legs of this part of the tie. So the first one, you go completely around that one leg right there. Then you take the tie, pass it underneath, and then you're going to wrap it around this side. and pull it down, and then back over to the other side. And then you pull it tight by pulling down and across for your chest. And that ties a fairly, makes a small triangle or a, a U shape there. Okay, that's the form of the tie or the base. Then you take this the, uh, lead in, cross it over the face, up through the neck, and then down through that cross where you crossed over the face of the knot. And you pull it down. And the tie is always going to have a natural tendency to want to slide this here face of the tie is going to want to slide up above the knot. So what you need to do is you need to pull this down, sometimes pushing up from the bottom, and then that gives you a nice triangle and small here at the bottom. Also to put the dimple in, a lot of times it just occurs naturally, but you just want to kick the sides and, and push them forward so you get a nice dimple, and then you tighten it up. And also, when you're judging the length of the tie, it should fall below the um, waistband of the trousers, or if you're wearing a belt, just slightly below the tip of the, uh, the tip should be slightly below the belt. And that's going to give you a proper presentation. And then also, the tag end of the tie, the small part, there's usually a label or a keeper on the underneath side. You just slip it through there, and that keeps it from sticking out to the side and giving you a poor presentation. Okay, so that's how you dimple a necktie.